Hey everybody, it is me once again for yet another review. Today I got a brand, another brand that I saw from Instagram. It is from Signature Popcorn. So um, anyone who knows me knows I love kettle corn. I love, love, love kettle corn. That's my favorite type of popcorn. Um, over movie popcorn, I don't like caramel corn. Um, I typically don't eat like, you know, uh, flavored popcorns, like candy type of popcorns. Um, but I decided to try them out. Um, as I said, this is a brand that I saw on Instagram. So I started seeing their ads um, in my stories and on my feed. So I decided to give them a try. Um, I ordered this. Um, it took about, I want to say, let me look up how long it took to get to me. Okay, so it shipped to me on a Monday and it got to me on a Saturday. So it took about a full week to get to me. And, um, uh, you know, I, I probably they're a smaller brand, so that's probably usually how long it takes for it to get to you. But just keep in mind, that's the lead time that I got. Um, I don't remember paying for like premium shipping, so that's probably the standard shipping that it comes with. Um, so let's get it open. It came in this box, regular box. So let's look at the receipt or the itemized or the invoice, sorry. So what I got was the, I got a bag of three. So I got a three pack. They, they have, their popcorn comes in a lot of different um, flavors. So I got a bunch of different flavors um, and I got three different flavors. Flavor one was cinnamon roll. Flavor two was peanut butter cup, which if, and also if anyone else knows me, knows that I love peanut butter cup, like Reese's um, ice cream that comes in like with, with peanut butter in it, like peanut butter and chocolate, I love that. And then I also got kettle corn. So I got all three of those, they come in like a three pack. And the cost of that was uh, $25.49. So that, um, the shipping was free at the time of purchase. So maybe they had like a deal going on or something where I was able to get free shipping, um, but that was the cost for me. So let's open it. And they come in these resealable bags, so this is kettle corn. This is peanut butter cup. And this is cinnamon roll. So, as I said before, um, I don't really have any expectations for any of the flavors except for kettle corn. Um, I don't typically eat um, any other type of flavored popcorn. Um, so this is the only one that I'll be familiar with what it's supposed to taste like. So let's go ahead and just dive right in. And as I said, they come in receivable bags. So it has a band here where you can zip lock it back. It already came pre-closed, so that's good. So this is gonna be kettle corn. It smells good. It smells fresh. So this tastes good. If you eat kettle corn a lot, you'll know that kettle corn is cooked in a way where it has kind of like a crunchy exterior. So it'll have like a glaze of, you know, kind of that, that um, sweet outer shell on it. So you kind of get that extra crunch. I'm not really getting the crunch so far. but I am getting the overall flavor of the salt and sweet. So when I bite, I am able to 
taste cat. I am able to taste the saltiness and the sweetness of the popcorn, but you're just kind of missing that crunch, at least for, for me so far. I haven't tasted it. Yeah, some of them are a little bit extra crunchy. Um, so you do get a little bit of different texture for some of them from some of the corn. Um, also, I'm looking at the bag, and it says that this is handcrafted in small batches. It also says it also says that it's using non-GMO corn. It has zero trans fat, and it has no preservatives, and it is gluten free. So that is interesting. Yeah, and on the actual corn, it doesn't have nutritional facts on it anymore. So I guess if you want to know the nutritional facts, you would have to go to their their website and they would probably display it there. Let's try the cinnamon roll. Cinnamon roll is actually heavier. It's heavier than the kettle corn. Okay. Ooh, that does smell like cinnamon roll. Okay, I know this, I already know this is gonna be like super sweet. So I'm not gonna eat that much of it. This is sweet. Very sugary. But tastes exactly like a cinnamon roll. Exactly like a cinnamon roll. That was good. Um, but going off the sweetness of that, I would not be able, like, I would only be able to probably eat at a time how much I just ate because it's so sweet. It's like a lot of sweetness. Um, so this is actually, um, they, uh, use cinnamon to cook these and then they, um, drizzle in white chocolate is what it says on the description here. So... Um, they are covered in cinnamon and they have a white a kind of drizzle on it and that white drizzle is uh, white chocolate. So just in case you were wondering. And let's try the peanut butter cup, which is the one I'm most excited for because I love peanut butter. Okay. You kind of get a faint peanut butter smell from it. So when you first open or when I first opened, I kind of got a faint peanut butter. So let's take a... Am I getting peanut butter? Not necessarily. I have to look something up. There is another candy that is like, um, it's like an orange stick. That is exactly what this tastes like. I have to look it up because I don't remember the name of the, of the candy. I think they're called like Chico sticks. Um, it's some type of stick candy. Chico. Yes, Chico stick. Um, so this is what it looks like. My cat just jumped on the. So this is what it looks like. Oh, no, I don't want 10% off. This is kind of what I'm referring to. 
that's exactly that is exactly what this tastes like um and that is um a peanut butter based candy i think that it's like cat um i think that it's like dried peanut butter or something along those lines um yeah it's made primarily from peanut butter so that is exactly what this tastes like if you love Ch chico sticks then you'll love these If you love Chico Sticks and you'll love these because that's exactly what they taste like. Um, as I said, am I getting like overwhelming peanut butter or overwhelming um, like what you would think maybe a Reese's Cup would taste like or maybe a creamier type of peanut butter? No. Um, But, um, going off of the, um, transistive property, if these taste like Chico Sticks and Chico Sticks are made out of peanut butter, then these also must taste like peanut butter. So, they're peanut butter. Um, so yeah. Um, I mean, they taste okay. Um, out of the three, I would say this is probably my least favorite. Um, mostly because it wasn't, uh, it wasn't... When I expected to open the bag, it didn't really meet what I was expecting to taste when I opened it. Um, as I said before, it's not a bad flavor at all. As I said, if you like the Chico Stick type of flavor, that that type of peanut butter um, flavor, then this is definitely for you. So that is it for those. Um, I've tried the kettle corn, the cinnamon roll, and the peanut butter cup. And I actually think that's the order of the ones that I like the most. So I like the kettle corn the best. Um, even though for me, it was it was missing that kind of crunch to it that I really was looking for from a kettle corn. Um, and then the cinnamon roll, which had a lot of... It, the cinnamon roll actually had a lot of crunch to it because it was kind of glazed in that cinnamon. But it was very sugary. So when you're eating it, just make sure to look at the proportions. And if you want to look at the nutritional facts, um, I'm going to link the... Um, the page below uh for their website and if they have a separate page for their nutritional facts i'm gonna link that as well um and then the one i like the least was the peanut butter cup um just because it's 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 a less traditional um type of peanut butter it is a peanut butter that we know from the candy that i mentioned before but it is not you know kind of the when i think of peanut butter cup i think of a very specific type of peanut butter and a very specific type of flavor associated with that. So that's kind of what I was looking for for that. But um, if you liked my review, uh, feel free to comment on if you if you choose to get any of the signature popcorn brands or if you have gotten signature popcorn brands, um, let me know what you liked about them. Let me know what flavors you got and let me know if your opinions differ from mine in any way. I'm very interested. So I will see you guys for the next review. Um, this is a side note. I have a lot of content backlogged um, which I'm just lazy and I'm not, <laughs> I'm being lazy about editing. I'm being lazy about editing and I'm being lazy about, you know, kind of putting the pieces together. So, um, I will see you guys and I have a lot of stuff upcoming. I think I'm going to upload this first, even though this is the last, um, video that I have. This is the most current video that I'm recording. I have about five videos before this that I need to edit. Um, three, four, five videos I need to edit. Um, but I think this one's going to take the least amount of editing. So I'm going to put this one up first. So that is a little bit of um, uh, behind the scenes tea for you. And um, I will see you guys for the next review, which will be up probably within the next week of this being posted. So I'm going to try and get back on that schedule weekly posting. And I will see you guys for the next one. Bye. Mm.